So there's the pond up there. You can see the overflow. Coming out of there. Maybe I'll walk up there. I wanted to show you here where it's coming across the road. The thing is, we got that rain last week that just saturated. We got three inches over about two and a half days and it just a drizzle and it just saturated everything. So now everything that falls is running. And this, we actually, it's raining hard right now, but if we got hard rain for three, four hours straight, it would be unbelievable out here. So we'll see what happens, but I mean, look at the amount of water and it hasn't rained. I mean, it's been raining all night, but we got an inch and three quarters since midnight. So, you get three, four inches, it's, it's gonna, look at this, just across the road, it's just running down the road. Can't believe that this can't handle it. An open ditch can't handle this water, and it's just running down the road. I don't even think I can go across this. Not falling down. Oh, shit. Anyway, look at that. It's just... A little creek right on top of the road. And it finally runs off here. And catches back in with, with the other one. I can't believe this is usually dry. Usually no water in here. Anyway, I'm kind of excited if it keeps this pace up all the way to five o'clock, like they said. compare it. Where the other creek comes in from behind the yurt. This is where the two combine. That's quite a bit of water. Oh no, what am I thinking? This is not, that's, that's incorrect. You know what's going on though. The creek to hunt behind the yurts on the other side of this hill, up to where Jimmy is. And it meets down there. This is just that little bit that comes over from the ball field. Anyway, we'll go on the other side and look at it. Like I said, I want to see that creek, what it looks like when it leaves the property. 